Maybe it. Imagine being on a team that just found a great discovery in the Sahara Desert. The thing that you discovered was a dinosaur known as Supercar. This dinosaur weighed up to, that was fat. This dinosaur was 30 to 40 feet in length, and, and that was about two times the size of a grown male crab. And th this animal had a, had a skull that was six feet long and had 100 razor sharp teeth in its mouth, which a normal croc has 70 to 80 teeth. After that, you and your team found out the super carp weighed up to 30, 10 tons. This is one of the things that I might find as a, as a paleontologist on a date. As a paleontologist, I will be going on digs, digs in different places in the world and exploring dig sites and finding dinosaurs all across, and new, uh, possibly finding new species of dinosaurs all across the world. I will also have to present my findings. If they are a big fan of like finding super cross. I will have to tell all the facts and how it died and what may have happened to it. Then I would have to tell the age the dinosaur may have died at and what caused the death of the dinosaur. It's like putting a scientific mystery together. When I started thinking about my career, I came up with several career opportunities. Then I narrowed it down to my top three cho choices, which were paleontologist, zoologist, and life science. Paleontologist has been, been a dream, dream that I've always wanted to accomplish. Zoologist in my sound says, what wasn't the best choice for me because I've always wanted to travel for my career. An opportunity cost is the second choice that you give up in order to get your first choice. My opportunity cost was I gave up being a zoologist so I could be a paleontologist. Why I chose being a paleontologist was because I, I have always been, found it interesting to find new species and go on species of dinosaurs. <coughs> And go on, on, and the idea of going on digs. Every career has positive incentives. One of my positives of being a paleontologist is that all of your work has a historical importance. Another is that you don't have to be cramped in a cubicle every day. You're, you're on a job site working. Finally, the places that you visit are some of the most oldest, most interesting places on earth. There are also negative incentives to every job as well. One negative incentive of being a paleontologist is that there is not that I won't be at home for a long for a lot for a long time. And it's kind of difficult because you don't see your family. Another negative incentive is that there's a positive possibility that you go long stretches without making a great discovery. My last negative incentive is that there is always a possibility that I could get hurt since I work in different places and cultures all across the world. My annual salary was $55,000, $55, and my monthly paycheck was $4,583.33. My estimate for my federal income tax was $150, and my mom thought it was, that it was going to be $100, but in actuality, it was $671. So, me and my mom were both way off. For my savings, I also thought that I would have zero dollars, but my mom thought I would have at least a hundred. But I really had twenty-six dollars and seventy-four cents. One of my rationales was renters insurance. I would, I would definitely have rental insurance since I'm not there at my house all the time. So I would have it just in case that if my house gets flooded or in case I'm fire. My biggest piece of piece of my pie graph represents taxes, which is twenty-six percent, as you can see here. And because my job pays a lot, and my housing and transportation each take up 15%, and that is right here and here. And it's because of where I live. It's, yeah. And these are two large, pre yeah. Medical insurance was 11%, 11% because if I get hurt, I need to pay, pay medical expenses. My loan was 10%, my school loan was 10%. Another large piece. Another piece of my budget, expensive piece of my budget, because universe, going to a university is always really expensive. Then comes discretionaries at nine percent of my budget, which includes entertainment, charity, and savings, and other items. Another part was utilities, which is seven percent. That and it covers gas, electric, water, and phone. Then my last one is food. The last one is food, food which is 
because I need to sort of start. And then the smallest was 12 troops, which was 1%. A trade-off trade -off is when you give trade-off is when you give up something so you can get something that you need more. My trade-off was I gave I gave up living in a small town like Hester to living close to my work so that it wouldn't be a lot of money to go from one place to another. So another trade-off that I, that I gave up was living by my living close to my family so I could live closer to my work and I wouldn't see them. Anymore. My last trade-off was I gave up living. Uh, I gave up living in a big apartment to living in a small apartment that didn't cost as much and as as a big. Apartment. I went to Louisiana State University, known as LSU. I had to go to school for four years to get my bachelor's degree in science. The skills that I need to become a paleontologist was the study of animal and anatomy, or how animals are put together. Then I needed to know geology and subjects and other subjects like these. I, involved, I was an intern at Baton Rouge, the Baton Rouge the Museum of Natural History and a student aide at Louisiana State University. My references were Mr. Phil, Phil Smith at Baton Rouge Museum of Natural History and, and also Mr. Clint Lewis, professor at Louisiana State University. I wrote my letter of application to Chris Jones, Mr. Chris Jones, lead digger at Building group painting group painting tool. I applied for this position because I found out that that, that this group was really good. I, I applied for this, the field of digging and paleontology and I have been wanting this job for a very long time. While researching for colleges and careers, I found out found several beneficial websites. My, my first website was at Louisiana State University, Museum of natural science, where I found out that Louisiana State University had a paleontology school. I took a survey on Parisian, Parisian, Parisian Zone in Pennsylvania and found out that there, I was very investigated. investigated. So, uh, this would be, I would be good working in science subjects like my career paleontology. At the, fun, at the website FunWorks, I also found out that I was very investigated, investigative and realistic. So at both of these websites, I found out that I was investing. I was good. I, I found out that a job in science would be a good fit. Another website that I went to was the Tiger Woods Foundation. At this Tiger Woods Foundation, I got a different result than I thought I would have. I received the best, the best score in sports, and it really surprised me. My last one was the education center. At this one, I found out. At, at this one, I best tested in investigative character. So at most of these websites, I found out I was best. I was very investigative, so, which is a good fit, good in paleontology since you need you're searching and discovering things that you want to Paleontology is a fascinating, fascinating area of study. My preparation has brought me to a job that I love and will challenge me every every day. I'm ready to take on my career and discover great things. Working at the Fleming Group has been a big dream for me.